Greetings African people. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making pumpkin rice, rasta pasta, and uh, vegetarian stir fry. Stick and stick. I'm bringing the water to boil for the pumpkin. You will have to do your own estimation. I am not very good at this measurement thing, so uh, in just a bowl this size. I, this is not pumpkin, it's squash, but it, you know, it's just as effective as uh, pumpkin. I add the thickly cut um, a squash to the water as it boils. You're going to need broccoli, cauliflower. This is frozen vegetable. I'm too lazy to make all of this today. Uh, so just, I'm using the frozen vegetable, the cauliflower, broccoli, and I forget the name of this. It's almost like carrot, but I forget the name of it. And um, uh, the regular carrots. I will put this to blanch. Just make the water boil just over it, just, uh, just for maybe two minutes and take it off and set it to the side. You will need two cups of um, rice, and I'm using the parboiled rice, uh, which I washed and uh, set to the side. Even though it's parboiled, I still wash it. And on the side, here, I have my vegetables that I'm going to be use, using pre-chopped. So green pepper, uh, onions, garlic, thyme, green, onions, parsley, and uh, you can add it. I re just realized that I don't have my yellow pepper, which is supposed to give it that red, green, and gold um, color. But for today, the orange is just going to have to do. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the mix for the rice. Or two. For one, this will allow the rice to not stick in the pot when you're cooking it. Add your rice to the mix after it's been boiling for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can't come honey no don't come my camera's on and stir so stir in your rice it's best not to use a spoon in your rice but especially when it starts cooking or boiling but um for now i'm just using the spoon and you make sure it's stirred so all your ingredients get mixed in with your rice Bringing the frozen vegetable to a quick boil, I will now add my pasta to this pot. Drain your pasta. like to have your pasta sauce on the side but I like to add it to the, the pasta so uh, now that it's thick I'm going to add it and I'm also going to add a, 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 a spoon to my vegetarian stir fry Thank you. 
nice a nice flavor and a nice color. changed my mind about using some fresh cauliflower so I'm going to add some of this to the pasta sauce just for two minutes or so just to make it a little bit more interesting and if you have a uh, broccoli you can do this as well here is the cauliflower cooked in pasta sauce to be served on the side. 